Hello, hello again. It's Paul here from ClickHouse. Just showing you how you can set up the ClickHouse Sync Connector on Confluent Cloud. Uh, it's kind of a similar setup for Confluent in your local environment, though there's more Docker files involved and things like that. But uh, for here, we're just going to go ahead and uh, go to Connectors, and then we're just going to add a new custom one. Uh, giving it, you know, click how sync, giving it this connector class, setting it as a sync, loading the zip file from our GitHub repo, uh, the releases. I'm putting password here as a sensitive property, and then there we are. It's going to upload and it'll be available. Now we do have the connector available actually in the uh, hub as well so that that actually should be available but uh, you know if you wanted to make a change and upload it or if you wanted to sort of you know do any customization things like that that's what that add plugin options for here so all right so we're going to select that and in theory we're going to need to give it access you can use an existing key with an existing secret. Uh, now it's not going to work uh, because that is not a valid one. However, I'm just going to leave that for now for demonstration purposes. So to then actually go ahead and add the connector, you need to sort of configure it, right? Now, there's two ways to do that. Option one, as you can see, is to go ahead and do key value pairs. Uh, things like, you know, password, username, database, all the configurations that you need. The easier way to do it though, is with JSON. So if we go ahead and I will put up here on the other monitor and show you. Uh, and R. All right. So if you go to clickhouse.com slash docs, and then your language of choice, the ClickHouse Sync Connector here, uh, we have all the properties, and we actually have sort of basic configuration uh, templates, if you will. So, you know, you just easily copy this, load it in here. Now, you might see that uh, I'll leave it as is just to show, but it's it's gonna. You'll see. You'll see what happens. Anyway, you would put the password that you have on your instance, uh, the topic name that, in theory, you should have created. Um, I'm just going to use that for now. We've got, you know, JWC connection properties. Go. All right. So we'll leave, we'll leave all those there. Right. Perfect. So this showed what I was talking about. It can't be nested. So our defaults are a nested version. It's simple enough tweak. One curly brace, one curly brace, and we're good to go. Uh, you can verify that if you actually went back to key value pairs, you can see that it's matched up. But anyway, that, that's sort of what it would look like. And then we would continue. There we go. So you do need to put the endpoint in the ClickHouse cloud that you're going to. Uh, you know, the connection details there are in our, our docs. And then you would uh, size it, you know, however you want. There's different options depending on what cluster you have. So that's going to vary. There you go. And that's a piece of cake. And uh, you're good to go then. You can uh, continue using the connector in the cloud.